In the city of Springfield, Illinois, under the cloak of a particularly silent night, the only sound disturbing the peace was the muffled and desperate cry of a newborn. Left beside a dumpster in a dimly lit alley, the little one lay wrapped in a thin, worn blanket, insufficient to combat the biting cold brought by the early hours. The darkness of the night seemed to swallow the street, making the environment even more ominous and desolate. The parents of the girl, overwhelmed by a mix of despair and inability to face their daughter's visual impairment diagnosis, had made the most painful decision of their lives. Amid whispers of pain and tears, they left her there believing in their anguish that perhaps this act could give the little one a chance to find someone capable of offering her what they thought themselves incapable of providing, a full and dignified life. Will she be okay? The mother, Ingrid, questioned with a choked voice, while the father, Raymond, with a heavy heart, simply shook his head, unable to find words of comfort. Maybe someone with more resources, more courage. He tried to explain, his voice faltering as he acknowledged the gravity of what they had just done. They walked away in silence, each step an echo of their pain and uncertainty. Meanwhile, the girl, unaware of her abandonment, continued to cry, her voice a sign of life in the stillness of the night. The contrast between the world's indifference and the child's vulnerability was palpable, her future a blank canvas stained by uncertainty and fear. Later that night, Dr. Laura, a dedicated ophthalmic surgeon, dragged her tired feet along the deserted sidewalk illuminated only by the soft glow of the moonlight. Her shift at the hospital had been particularly exhausting, with a series of complex surgeries and consultations that tested the limits of her skill and endurance. As she walked, her thoughts incessantly revolved around the clinical cases she had faced, pondering diagnoses and possible outcomes. It was then that a delicate sound, almost stifled by the stillness of the night, penetrated the barrier of her reflections a fragile and persistent cry which seemed to plead for attention and care. Intrigued and moved by an instinct that went beyond mere curiosity, Dr. Laura followed the sound to its source, finding herself beside a poorly lit dumpster. There, to her surprise and horror, lay a baby, wrapped in a thin, worn blanket, the faint cry echoing like a desperate plea for help. For a moment, Dr. Laura was paralyzed, the reality of the situation hitting her hard. How could anyone do this? She muttered to herself, indignation mixing with surprise in her voice. Without further hesitation, she crouched beside the child, her medical instincts taking over. With gentle yet firm hands, she lifted the baby, cradling her carefully in her arms. The human warmth seemed to calm the cry, and as she looked into the child's eyes, a sense of determination and compassion washed over her. Beside her was a note written, My name is Sophia. I have a visual impairment. My parents couldn't keep me. Whoever finds me, please help me. Don't worry, little one. I'm here now. I will take care of you, little Sophia, said Dr. Laura, her voice a soft whisper of promise and protection. You are not alone anymore. She looked up at the sky, where the stars shone as silent witnesses to the oath made that night. With the baby safe in her arms, she felt a weight, not of burden, but of purpose. I will take care of you. I will give you the love and security you deserve, she promised, a commitment born not only of compassion, but of a profound sense of humanity that defined her essence. That night, under the pale light of the moon, Dr. Laura's life changed forever. She had saved many lives in her career, but this one was different. It was a life she not only saved, but promised to nurture, love, and protect against all odds. And so, with little Sophia now in her arms, she took the first steps home, each step a renewed commitment to the future they would share. Dr. Laura, after that transformative night, embarked on a meticulous and determined journey to ensure that little Sophia, the child she had found beside a dumpster, legally became her daughter. The adoption process was permeated by a series of legal and bureaucratic procedures each faced with the same dedication and commitment that Laura devoted to her profession. No matter how long or challenging the process is, I will make you my daughter, Laura promised aloud as she filled out yet another form, occasionally glancing at Sophia, who played peacefully beside her. Finally, after months of anxiety and hope, the adoption was completed. Sophia, my dear, 
This is a new beginning for us, said Laura, holding Sophia's little hand, who smiled, feeling the security and love emanating from her new mother. The home Sophia came to know was a sanctuary of joy and learning. Over time, Laura transformed her house into a vibrant space, where music filled the air, laughter was constant, and braille books were always within the curious reach of Sophia's hands. Here, my daughter, you will learn that stars can also be read with your fingers, Laura taught, guiding Sophia's hands over the braille pages, sharing stories that transcended sight. Laura made sure to instill in Sophia the belief that physical limitations are just one aspect of life, not defining who she was or what she could achieve. Sophia, you are capable of anything. Your vision is just one way of seeing the world, but your heart and mind have the capacity to explore universes, Laura explained, as they discovered new music together, learned new languages through touch, and laughed at jokes shared in a code only they understood. In this environment filled with love, Sophia grew up knowing she was valued and safe, that her visual impairment was just a part of her incredible journey. Through every action and word, Laura taught Sophia that true vision comes from the heart, and that with love and determination, there are no limits to what she could achieve. You are my light, Sophia, Laura often affirmed, and together, we will illuminate any darkness. Amidst laughter, music, and the gentle sound of braille pages being turned, Sophia learned to see the world in a way few could, with her heart. As Sophia ventured into the hallways of childhood, life outside the protective nest that Dr. Laura had meticulously built began to present its challenges. School, an arena of learning and socialization, also became a minefield of trials for Sophia, where misunderstanding and childish cruelty sometimes manifested in the form of bullying. Why do you always use that weird device? One child asked, pointing to the assistive device Sophia used for reading. She can't see like us, another mocked, laughing while exaggeratedly imitating Sophia's careful way of touching braille books. These moments of disdain and isolation weighed heavy on Sophia's heart, making her question her place among her peers. With her head low and her heart heavy, she returned home, seeking refuge in her mother's arms. Mommy, why are they so mean to me? Sophia asked, the words barely escaping through sobs of pain. Dr. Laura, whose profession had taught her to confront adversity with a combination of science and compassion, knew that the most important lessons she could teach her daughter transcended books. With Sophia sitting beside her, she enveloped her in a hug, a safe harbor in the midst of the storm. My dear Sophia, she began, her voice a balm to her daughter's wounded soul. People sometimes fear or act cruelly because they don't understand something or someone that is different from them, but that doesn't reflect who you are. And how do I not feel so sad? Sophia asked, looking to her mother with tear-filled eyes and confusion. Your inner strength is like a light, Sophia, a light that no darkness can extinguish, Dr. Laura explained, holding Sophia's hands in hers. You will learn to use that light to find your way, even when others try to divert you from it. Resilience is like a muscle. The more we exercise it, the stronger it becomes. And I will be here always to help you strengthen that resilience. Dr. Laura taught Sophia not only to face bullying with dignity, but also to understand the importance of getting back up after each fall, to look at the world not as a place of limitations, but as a stage of endless possibilities. You are more than eyes can see, Sophia. You are smart, kind, and incredibly brave. And these are the things that truly define a person. And you can be whatever you want, a musician, a dancer, a writer, whatever you want, my daughter. With these lessons of love, resilience, and inner strength, Sophia learned to navigate challenges with grace and determination, armed with the wisdom her mother had given her. And with each passing day, she became a living example of the truths Dr. Laura had instilled in her. That true vision is not found in the eyes, but in the heart, and that the most powerful strength to face adversity comes from within. Dr. Laura, with eyes always set on the bright future she knew was possible for Sophia, dove headfirst into the world of assistive technologies. Aware of her daughter's limitless potential, she was determined to knock down every obstacle that Sophia's visual impairment might present. There are no limits to what you can achieve, Sophia, she often reiterated, 
with a conviction that fueled the young girl's unshakable spirit. In her quest, Dr. Laura not only avidly consumed the latest medical and technological literature, but also forged partnerships with leading experts in the field of assistive technology. I'm looking for something that not only compensates for my daughter's visual impairment, but empowers her, making her as capable as, or even more than, anyone without such a challenge. She explained during a video conference with a renowned assistive technology developer. I understand your quest perfectly, Dr. Laura, replied the specialist, impressed with the passion and determination of the physician. Let's explore all possibilities. There are incredible advancements being made in visual assistance devices that can open new worlds for Sophia. So on the day Sophia turned eight, the air was filled with palpable anticipation, mixed with the sweet aroma of chocolate cake wafting through the house. Dr. Laura had organized a small party, decorated with all of Sophia's favorite details, but the highlight of the day would be something much more significant than any traditional gift. With a smile that hid an exciting secret, Dr. Laura called Sophia close, where an elegantly wrapped box awaited. Sophia, my dear, this is a very special gift, thoughtfully designed just for you, for this moment in your life, began Dr. Laura, her words laden with emotion and anticipation. Sophia, with hands trembling slightly with excitement, unwrapped the gift to reveal a state-of-the-art assistive technology device. It was an advanced system, designed not only to enhance her visual perception, but to transform the way she interacted with the world. What? What does this do, Mommy? Sophia asked, her eyes shining with curiosity and admiration. This device will help you see the world in a new way, Sophia. It was created to enhance your visual perception allowing you to connect even more with everything around you," explained Dr. Laura, helping Sophia adjust the device. As the device was activated, Sophia experienced the world around her lighting up in ways she never imagined possible. Colors, shapes, and movements became more defined, and a smile of pure joy and wonder spread across her face. Mommy, it's amazing, I can see. I can see so much more, Sophia exclaimed, thrilled tears shining in her eyes as she launched into Dr. Laura's arms for a tight hug. I knew you would like it, my love. This is just the beginning of a future full of possibilities for you, Dr. Laura whispered, holding Sophia tightly, sharing a moment of pure happiness and hope. This gift was not just a device. It was a promise of a future where Sophia could connect even more deeply with the world around her, overcoming the barriers her visual impairment might impose. And in that moment, as mother and daughter embraced, the future seemed brighter than ever. With the arrival of the new assistive technology device, a new chapter unfolded in Sophia's life, bringing with it a wave of freedom and discovery. The world around her, previously confined by the boundaries of her visual perception, now expanded into a vast field of possibilities. It was as if, suddenly, colors had sounds and sounds had movements, everything intertwined in a dance of experiences that Sophia was eager to explore. Can I really do this? Sophia asked, holding the device with a mixture of reverence and admiration. Can I really dance and move with the music like I've always dreamed? Sophia, my dear, Dr. Laura replied with an encouraging smile lighting up her face. This device is just a tool. It's you who possesses the true power. With it, you can do anything your heart desires. Inspired by her mother's words, Sophia began to engage more fervently in her music and dance classes. Where there was once hesitation, there was now determination. Where there was once doubt, there was now confidence. With each note she learned to play, with each dance step she mastered, Sophia felt as if she were not only overcoming her limitations, but also challenging the expectations of what was possible for someone in her situation. Look at me, mommy! Sophia exclaimed during a dance performance, spinning with a grace that defied gravity, her body moving in perfect harmony with the music. I'm doing it! I'm dancing! It was a moment of triumph, not just for Sophia, but also for Dr. Laura, who watched from the audience, tears of pride shining in her eyes. Sophia had discovered that, even in the face of challenges, her passion for music and dance was an unshakable force that propelled her forward allowing her to reach her dreams and dance beyond the shadows of doubt. Do you see, Mommy? Sophia said later as they shared a quiet moment together. I knew I could do it, and I did. Sophia, 
You've taught me something very valuable, Dr. Laura replied, holding her daughter's hand. You've taught me that true vision isn't in how we see the world, but in how we see ourselves in it. And you, my dear, see yourself as the talented dancer and musician you are. At that moment, Sophia knew that regardless of the challenges life presented her, she would always find a way to overcome them and shine. With her new device and a renewed confidence, she was ready to explore the world even further, embracing each new adventure with a heart full of music and feet ready to dance. Empowered by technological advancements and enveloped in the unconditional love of her mother, Dr. Laura, Sophia began to tread paths that once seemed only distant dreams. The young girl who had discovered a new way of seeing the world now aspired to reach for the stars, dreaming of becoming a renowned dancer or musician. With each passing day, Sophia dedicated herself with an almost palpable fervor to her new passions, practicing her musical scales with meticulous dedication and rehearsing her dance steps until her movements flowed like water. You know, Mom, Sophia said one day while rehearsing a particularly challenging dance, I want people to feel with my performances what I feel when I dance. I want my dance to show the world how it's possible to move beyond barriers. Dr. Laura, watching her with a mixture of admiration and pride, replied, Sophia, you're already doing that. Your determination and joy not only inspire me every day, but also touch the hearts of everyone fortunate enough to know you. And it was true. Sophia, with her resilience and indomitable spirit, became a source of inspiration for her community. Teachers, classmates, and neighbors saw in her the embodiment of hope and resilience. Her classmates stopped bullying and saw in her a surreal force. Over time, her performances drew audiences who marveled at the depth of her expression. Her dance performances, full of grace and emotion, left spectators in reverent silence. I want to use music and my dance to tell stories, Sophia shared with a group of young students during a workshop she led. Stories of perseverance, of love, and yes, of overcoming. I want you to know that no matter the challenges we face, we all have a unique voice and an inner dance that can light up the world. Sophia not only dreamed higher, but also lifted those around her, showing by example that true beauty and strength come from facing our challenges head on with courage and an open heart. Empowered by technology and her mother's unconditional love, she wasn't just an aspiring dancer. Sophia was a beacon of inspiration, whose journey was a vibrant testament to the power of the human spirit. After following Sophia and Dr. Laura's journey, we've seen how love, science, and determination can transform lives and inspire an entire community. The story of these two extraordinary figures shows us that with the right resources and a daily dose of inspiration, we're capable of overcoming challenges and reaching our highest dreams. If you've been touched by this story and wish to embark on your own journey of self-discovery and transformation, I have something special for you. My ebook, Seven Weeks of Inspiration, was created with the purpose of providing you, day by day, a source of inspiration that can change your life. Each of the 49 stories is accompanied by a reflection, a prayer, and a concrete action for the day, designed to guide you on a profound journey of personal growth. And there's more. By purchasing the ebook today, you'll not only receive the narrated version of the book to listen to wherever and whenever you want, but also three exclusive bonuses that I've prepared with your transformation journey in mind. Don't miss the chance to transform your life with seven weeks of inspiration. Click on the link in the description of this video to learn more and start your journey of self-discovery and change today. Until the next story, storyteller friends, if you enjoyed it, show your support with a like and subscribe for more exciting tales.